Hey guys, this is Austin. Building your own computer is one thing, but what if you want an entire setup? For $700, not only can you get a solid PC, but pretty much all the accessories you need. Kicking things off is the AOC i2367 monitor. This used to be my main display, and for $130, you're actually getting a lot. It's rocking a 23-inch 1080p IPS display that supports totally respectable color and contrast. While it might not be the most high-res screen in the world, 1080p is still a good sweet spot for gaming. Viewing angles aren't bad, and while it does lack speakers, I usually don't find much use for monitor speakers anyway. It absolutely looks the part too, with a thin bezel and dual HDMI inputs, which is connected to the Boson 3.0. This is one of my PC builds that comes in at $350 and can handle most games on at least medium at 1080p with an SSD along with a decent graphics card. I've already done a video on all the parts and a more detailed look at performance as well as a full tutorial on how to put it together if you guys want to check that out, but this is absolutely the heart of the setup. Next up, we've got the Tomoko MMC 023 keyboard. While there are plenty of cheap membrane keyboards out there, moving up to mechanical makes a huge difference. It has the same satisfying sound and feel of a mechanical switch with a more compact 87 key design, which I usually prefer over options with a number pad. It's solidly built, and while you won't find flashy LEDs, you do have blue key switches, which are fairly similar to the corresponding MX Blues you'll find in more expensive keyboards. For less than $40, it's an easy choice to go with over a normal membrane option. To go along with it, we have the Logitech G602 mouse. While usually wired is the way to go for a gaming mouse, the G602 works surprisingly well wireless. It comes with a USB dongle to keep latency to a minimum, and importantly, it's also comfortable in the hand. Like most Logitech mice, it might not be pretty, but it gets the job done with a series of programmable buttons along the left side, along with a switch to adjust DPI, which goes up to 2500. The tracking is smooth and reliable, and Logitech quotes around 250 hours of battery life with the included AA batteries. For $55, the G602 is a solid choice. To go along with the mouse and keyboard, we've got a giant gaming pad from the glorious PC gaming race, because they know who they're selling to. This is the extended version, which is easily big enough to fit everything with plenty of room to spare as a desk mat, but you can also get a smaller version that's dedicated for just your mouse. While you can absolutely get away without a mouse pad with the G602, this goes a long way toward rounding out the setup. For audio, we've got one of my absolute favorites right now, the Status CB1 headphones. These have been living in my bag everywhere I go for a few weeks now, and they pack some serious sound. They remind me a lot of the Audio-Technica ATH-M50s, but I actually prefer the CB1s. They deliver richer audio with better soundstage. I'm by no means an audiophile, but there's something special about the sound out of the CB1s. It doesn't hurt that they're well-built and have nice, soft padding to make them comfortable for longer listening periods, along with a detachable coil cable that locks into place. For $80, I've got to say I'm a big fan. To go along with the CB1s, we've got a Satachi headphone stand. On top of being a nice place to keep your headphones, they're solidly built out of aluminum and come in a few different colors. You can also plug your headphones straight into the stand to get audio over USB. Not only does this keep your cables a bit cleaner, but it also works as a USB hub. You get three USB 3.0 ports on the base of the stand, which is handy to plug a few accessories in easily. At $35, it might be a bit pricey, but it goes a long way toward making the setup pop. As always, you can mix and match pieces of this setup, and I'll have all the links you need in the description, but for $700, including the gaming PC, I think this is a killer way to get into PC gaming.